Ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, meine Damen und Herren. So, trying the 15 languages once again. Good evening. Guten Abend. Buonasera. Buenas noches. Bonsoir. Good luck. Dobre večer. Dobre večer. Um, Xin chao. Ni hao. Konnichiwa. Annyeong. Shalom. Yo estate kavanak and number 15 Grüzi is from Switzerland. So it is the second game of the finals tonight. Beastie against Underdark and Beastie is playing against Underdark on Metalopolis. He lost the first game on Zelnaga Kevin's. He decided to play on Metalopolis. He decided not to play for example on uh, map like Steps of War Delta Quadrant. So um Or oh, Lost Temple even, and that's why we are here on the Metalopolis. We have Beastie spying at the Teal Terran in the 12 o'clock location, and close positions by ground at the 9 o'clock we have Underdark as the Red Frodo's player. So Underdark now going for the scout, immediately will scout out um, the base of Beastie. Beastie so uh, knows where to scout for Underdark because it is uh, very easy, a 9 pylon. Or did he did he really scout at the nine pylon? Did he scout at the twelfth gate? Everything is possible. I think he even scouted at the twelfth gate. But uh, anyway, it was at the base of Beastie. Beastie now finished with the barracks, uh, uh, hunting this appropriate array. Uh, has to run away, and uh, Underdark is doing good this time, of course. On um, Metalopolis, close positions by ground, going for the one base expand might be not the best option to go for. I mean Underdark did a brilliant job, he got the Colossus out in time and especially the Force Field saved the day for him um, as Beastie was attacking his base with his uh, Raven Siege Tank Marine SCV uh, army composition. So um, there we have a probe here on the high ground, maybe want to place a proxy pilot in there. Um, maybe he just wants to go for standard 4 gate and apply some pressure but still um, Beastie is here in the base this STV is now getting attacked, was not paying attention there enough, so, is, so the Zealot was able to take down the SCV, meanwhile Probe might be trying to get in the base once again, yes. Um, Beastie on the other hand now is going for a bunker, so bunker uh, most of the time means some sort of tech. Probe tried to get in here, was blocked by the Marines, and the only thing the Probe saw is uh, the bunker, so he's Underdark might be assuming that there will be some kind of tech. Now he's uh, moving up the ramp with his uh, zealot as well, but of course one single zealot came to shit against four marines, and now the marines are in the bunker as well, so no can do. Uh, the only thing uh, Underdark can do right now is to suicide them using units to scout out uh, what is going on, and we don't see a starport yet, so maybe Blue Flame Hellion coming up, and yes indeed it is. Um, if a player is going for a uh, one barracks and one factory, and we see him already having 200 minerals and 150 gas, it is fair to assume that he will not go direct for the 111. Um, he wants to start the blue flame hellion upgrade so he can get out 3 to 4 hellions. Uh, then the upgrade will finish, and the star party will be finished as well, and Medivac. Uh, will be finished there too. So in the end this is a nice time in which all uh, lines up in the end for him. Meanwhile Underdark is going for expand again once again and it is the one gate into expand so there we see he had the second building he was building after the uh, Nexus at the natural was the robo facility then he built the second gangway uh, and the uh, warp gate technology just finished for him so he will be able to warp in stuff from now on. So Beastie this time not going for some one base oriented push at least for the moment will be able to do quite some damage to there and there we see a third alien is out, a fourth alien is in production, the medivac is in production as well so he will be able to uh, do some damage with four aliens in total. Maybe he wants to use one alien to check out if there's any probes or any scouting SCVs at the front so he wouldn't know in, uh, so he would know when there's something coming up and now Beastie going for the expand as well. Of course the Nexus for Underdark is already finished, he can get uh, start to get uh, more and more units and looks like Beastie even was uh, forced to cut 
uh, one or two SCVs because he's already 10 harvesters behind. Now only going uh, for the command center and there he is moving out with his medivac. Um, this medivac was just spotted by Underdark. He's got some stalkers in the mineral line already. And um, now checking out with the probe what's going on there at this location. And there we have Beastie um, dropping his Hellions. Hellions get spotted directly. Um, by the stalkers, he needs to watch out for this medivac. Looks like Beastie not playing as it best, but he got some. Uh, two uh, the other two Hellions are here in the natural, and of course, Hellions with the blue flame can two shot those workers. And in the end, those this Hellion with four kills, this Corporal Hellion with six kills, uh, was at least able to bring him back to the game. So this Hellion here at the top, uh, at the natural, is one Hellion is dead. He tried to do some more damage with those Hellions here at the main base, but still, this Hellion is alive, killing even two more. So Sergeant Hellion already at 13 kills right now and now it's time for him to go home. And there we see um, Underdark was ahead, 10 harvesters, now he is behind 3 harvesters. So very good Blue Flame Hellion attack, especially for example like in the game number in round number 7 where Beastie was playing against Moman. One second before I dropped out of the game uh, we saw some Blue Flame Hellions uh, there by... Beastie absolutely devastating the drone count of moments. So now the command center is landed as well, uh, repairing some of the Hellions. Siege mode is finished for Beastie too, and there we see the orbital command is being morphed in. Um, two Vikings are out there as well, and those Vikings will come in handy because Underdark uh, got one Coloss already out on the field. There he is in the mineral line, going for the extended thermal lands. The um, Range upgrade for the Colossi because this Colossus, the weapon is called the Thermal Lens and yeah, what does the extended Thermal Lens do exactly? It extends the range of your Thermal Lens. And Beastie still here uh, in the base was just killing two probes and uh, happily uh, uh, driving away with the Hellion and here Captain Hellion already at seven kill 17 kids so he can change uh, his Russian cigarettes to some um, German or American ones. <laughs> It looks like facepalm is uh, the answer of him, so it looks like he really likes his Russian cigarettes. So, I'm busy dropping another mule, um, and uh, it is time for the harvester check, and there we see Underdark once again in the lead, even though PC was able to constantly uh, get rid of some minerals, uh, some probes better to say and there we see when we take a look at the units lost 22 units lost for underdark worth 1100 resources even though it's only three or four beastie and uh, i guess three hellions or two hellions and a siege tank something like this hellions once again trying to get in there we're only able to kill one or two probes this attack was not actually worth it at all maybe he wants to free up some supply but to be honest I uh, doubt this really and Beastie now even the one in the supply lead he's getting a shitload of units it's a very potent army composition lots of damage to the siege tanks Vikings are all high DPS units and he's now moving out uh, with those uh, Hellions checking for any hidden expansion and he's got a marine at the uh, 6 o'clock main base so no expansion there and that underdark's got no other expansion BC must be feeling good about this underdark now going with a forward pylon here on the higher ground and he's uh, might be moving out he's got a coloss he's got a immortal and some stalkers some sentries and one zealot there so not a very big army combination but at the moment it is enough to do some damage because he just uh, mech with the shit up here and second colossus is just arrived and now the hellions are moving out they spotted the units here by underdark tanks are sieged up vikings are in position should be no problem at all for beastie to get rid of the forces here underdark might be forced to pull back and beastie just decided okay it's better actually when i start to build this command center here in a more safe location so underdark now moving back beastie got his units uh, here everywhere position maybe patrolling and to the um, 3 o'clock natural main base with one lady would be a nice choice to go for. And Beastie once again, he is still in the mineral line of Underdark. Let's take a look. Underdark is down to 37 harvesters once again. Those two aliens were able to kill at least 
eight more SCVs, uh, probes from Underdark. So Beastie doing a really good job at applying some pressure, even taking out a pylon here uh, without siege mode. And soon he will, as soon as the pylon is dead, uh, he goes back to safety where the missile turrets, where the bunkers, where the Vikings are. Beastie is uh, in a good position, but Underdark he's got a very potent army composition uh, himself as well, and. Um, he was ahead, 15 supply, now he's behind 5 supply. Do we don't see any upgrades? Uh, he just started the plus 1, getting 2 cannons here because he's got enough of those blue flame aliens. Any cannons in the main base? No, we don't see there any at all. And he, we see a Arcan here by Underduck, it's just the two High Templars merging. Did he even research the Psionic Storm? I don't think so, no he did not. So um, yeah, that's about it, and um, Beastie's more tanks arriving, and Beastie, I mean, he should expand very soon as well, he's got this command center finished, I'm not sure if he wants to try to go for a hidden expansion, on the other hand, Underdark is there with the Stalker, or if he's just moving out, going for a slow push, uh, really trying to protect the high ground expansion, establish a forward base, of course, against the Immortal Coloss army, uh, holding um, a planetary fortress is not that easy, but the hardest part, to be honest, is that he will, m has to be able to move out at all. And maybe, um, oh, some blue flame aliens trying to get in there once again, but now Cannon is waiting, maybe he should have just moved up the ramp, but at least he killed one single um, probe there. Uh, I mean, one probe is better than nothing, but in the end, of course, the trade was not worth it. So the plus one for Underdark will finish in 5 seconds, meanwhile the plus 2 for Beastie is halfway done, getting some ghosts in the mix as well, uh, Mobius Reactor, the ghost energy for the MP is being researched right now and it will be, uh, like all the energy upgrades, it will be finished in 80 seconds total, now only 50 seconds left. Beastie is now moving forward, he got quite a lot of siege tanks and he really needs to watch out where are the Vikings, there they are and the Vikings now with all those huge things should be able to seal the deer. Now the Immortals might be going to the front and he might be going for the bust. No, he does not. Some Marauders or some Marines in the mix would be nice as well. Pylon here by Hunter Dark gets taken out as well. And when we take a look at the supply once again, we see 152 for Hunter Dark, 145 for Beastie, but Beastie now might be able to secure this space here. Hunter Dark might be going around for an attack. Does Beastie know about this? Does he have a unit here? Yes, he does have this Marine there, so he knows about a possible attack from the side. There he is, readjusting, rearranging his forces. Um, Underdark taking out this missile turret. Siege tanks are sieged up once again, so the only thing Underdark can do now is send the Colossi, up so but Beastie can send his Vikings in there. And will he be able to take out this one Colossi? Yes, good job by him. He, this factory will go down for sure. And will he be able to take out another Coloss? Yes, and he only loses two Vikings in the process. Uh, losing two Vikings to kill one Coloss is always a good trade-off. Beastie now mass bunkering up here. Uh, the uh, entrance to the left on the high ground expansion. Underdark moving back and a good job really by Beastie taking out those two Colossi. Um, he got still two Colossi left getting a third one and Underdark is also getting an Immortal. I mean he's got how many Immortals in total at the moment? Six and those six Immortals will be able to do quite some damage. Maybe uh, with a splash a nice EMP and with the EMP taking out the shields of the Immortals, the Siege Tanks suddenly so super duper effective against the Immortals. So good EMP, very nicely uh, done here by Beast. He's got two ghosts on the field, getting even another ghost, and there we see two more ghosts, and one of these two ghosts got enough energy even for two more EMPs. So um, good job by him. Meanwhile, Underduck decides to go for the gold expansion. Beastie's units only uh, got a marine here at the 6 o'clock main. No units patrolling, so he does not know about this nexus. Oh, he does know about this nexus. Still, the marine is uh, there. And uh, Underdark tried to protect his um, gold mineral expansion by applying some pressure. Now he wants to go behind from the back. Uh, wants to go behind from the back once again. Tanks are sieged up. 